In this presentation, we will try to solve one gate problem related to power sets. Here is the problem. The number of elements in the power set PS of the set S is, is it 2, 4, 8 or none of the mentioned? This question has been asked in gate 1995. I would encourage you to pause the video for a while and try to answer this question on your own. I hope you're done. Okay, let's move on to the solution. This is set S. We have to identify power set of this set, right? Here in this set, we have total three elements if you see this carefully. Here the first element is a set with another set which is an empty set, right? Second element is one and third element is a set with two elements, two and three, right? So it is clear that we have total three elements in this set S, fine? So set S has three elements. Therefore, the power set of S, that is PS, must have two to the power three, that is eight elements. In this question, the number of elements have been asked. Obviously, option C is the correct option. But let's just list down all the elements of this power set for better understanding. Here, obviously, the power set of S must include phi, which must always be included in the power set. So, phi must be included. Apart from this, we will create sets with one element, right? Here you can see the first element is a set which consists of phi. We will include this whole set within another set. This is going to be the second element of this power set, right? And then you can see we can form a set with this element, as I have included this. Then we can form a set with this whole set, which consists of two elements, that is two and three. And this is how it looks like. This whole set must be included within another set, right? This is a subset of this set. After this, we will include two elements in the set. Here first, we will include these two elements within a set. Then we will include these two elements, as you can see over here. Then we will include these two elements, first and third. And this is how it looks like, right? After this, we will include all these three elements within a set. That means we will include this whole set within this set. And this is how it looks like, right? We have a set with the first element, second element, and third element. That is a set with phi, one, and a set with elements two and three, okay? If we count the number of elements in this set, then it is clear that there are total eight elements in this set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, okay? So option C is obviously the correct option. 